YouTube, welcome to episode two of our series that has no name. What am I doing? It's speaking, hopefully. Hey YouTube, welcome to episode two of our series about going back to school. Re, really say something. Uh, yes, this is episode two. The theme of this episode, if you hadn't already guessed it from the title, is our school crushes. How we dealt with having a crush at school and how you probably shouldn't. Yeah. Oh god. I'm gonna let Phil start. Thanks. When I was about 15, oh god, I'm getting so much In the pre-re days. In the, in, in, in the pre-days, I'm getting so much secondhand embarrassment from this video, Jesus Just Christ. come on, you can do this. Um, I sat next to a very pretty girl in food tech class. And the only reason I took food tech class was to meet pretty girls. And there was a girl who sat like opposite me who had really cool glasses. Like, they were kind of nerdy and kind of cute. So, I needed to get new glasses because my eyesight was pretty bad. And I thought, this is really clever. I thought, ah, I have a crush on this girl. I will get to the exact same glasses, but in dude form, because glasses are gendered. And then she'll see it, and we'll talk, and then she'll fall in love with me and we'll get married. It, it works. It's, it was a perfect plan. No. No, not what happened. What actually happened was, she saw my glasses and went, oh, cool, same glasses. That was it. I'd spent like three years having to deal with my glasses that were horrible. Ugh. Mine's a little bit more positive. I, I never ended up hating life, I just got a bit of a bad reputation at school. Um, you turned you up. Basically, there was this guy I went to school with who was like ridiculously tall and had like big spiky out hair and I thought he looked like Billy Joe Armstrong. Um, Hopefully so college. what I did was I sat behind him in English class. I've seen Mean Girls, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, and just kind of waited. N nothing for months. Um, it was really, really upsetting me. And one day I was in the library where I spent most of my time and he came in. I was like, this is it, we need to conversation start. And he came and sat at a table near where I was. So I put my pencil case away. Ooh. And then went over to him and asked if he had a pencil I could borrow. Um, and he did. And I was just like, oh, thank you so much. It's the first time he's ever spoken to me. And spent the rest of the time just, just staring at him. On a weekend, me and my friends would all go to Chatham, like our local high street area. And on this particular Jimmy occasion, we were going to the perfume department in Debenhams to sniff their perfumes. And I was going around all the guy ones, trying to work out which cologne he wore. And it turns out some popular girls from our school had spread that around, that I'd like to sniff people and can tell what their colognes are. He clearly got wind of this, um, so ignored me for forever, kept, kept ignoring me. Yeah, so, have you guys... There's got to be better ways of dealing with crushes than what we did. Yeah. This was not an advice don't, video. Don't do what I did because I had to deal with those glasses for three years. Anyway, thanks YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.